Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Marvelous Designer 11 is now here. Marvelous Designer is made available by the folks at Clo 3 d and they've gone through to release the version 11 that comes with a couple of cool things. Now, one of the most noticeable things is the logo. The logo is now changed. And this simply means that this is the second or the third time we're getting a logo change, which is like this. The first logo we had was this one, then we had this, and now we're having this. For some reason, I think this has to do with the branding and the revamping of a whole new idea that Marvelous Designer is bringing to the table. And for some reason, I get to understand that this ties with the idea of simplicity for you to create your stuff and simulate them really easy. And this looks like the premise of this particular release. One of the major changes you would notice with the UI is right now, you no longer need to switch workspaces to access anything. In the previous UI, what you could do is you can switch from the 3D viewport where you get to do your simulation over to the animation section, over to the UV section, but all of those things have been thought through and they are no longer what it is at this point. So you can now easily dock and undock several windows and you can choose to push these things all the way to the side depending on what you want to do. Now in most cases you might be needing quad viewports so that you can do some stuff or maybe you would like to get your UV on one section, your 2D canvas on one section or maybe your 2D pattern window as it's called and then have a couple of viewports and see what you're doing. Marvelous Designer now offers you that access of having these things right now within your fingertips and this simply means that customizing your windows layout has been made even way simpler than you can imagine so previously we only have one gigantic viewport but right now you can switch from two viewports to three viewports all the way to four at a given time now once you switch this to a quad view what you'll be getting is three 3d windows and one 2d pattern window of which you can easily switch this pattern window however you want or switch the 3d window to fit whatever you want and this is also something that is very lovely now while speaking about the viewport it is also worth knowing that if you have a 2d pattern window and a 3d window on a particular section of your screen whatever you do on the 3d window applies to the 2d pattern window and at any point in time you like to reset your user interface you can now easily reset your user interface to what it originally is and something else which you notice right now with the brand new marvelous designer 11 is you have a storefront panel so instead of going over to the web and going over to the storefront on the web you can easily browse purchase and download marvelous designs directly in your app instead of going over to the storefront where you would have to log in and do all of that stuff the animation section of marvelous designer has also been revamped as right now there is also a new layout for your animation timeline so instead of switching as well to another workspace you have a timeline and some of the menus or properties that you get to find on the top bar have now been switched to the side so you now have an animation editor setting which offers you several settings that you can have access to one of the cool settings is instead of changing your frames per second every single time you import an animated file you can now easily set this thing and set it as a project file and always get this to work according to what the project frame per second has been set and this is definitely going to be very useful for most of you guys. Moving forward, there is an improvement to the topology feature. There is also a partial solidify feature that is also a brand new one. And we've already seen this brush sort of tool come over to Marvelous Designer previously when we saw the subdivision. And they're building based off that to add a brand new partial solidify. And this will simply allow users to keep wrinkled details on certain areas of the model while they simulate or style the other parts of the model. And that's about it. Not so much updates. I think the folks at Cloud3D Creators of Marvelous Designer 11 are looking at making the tool as simple as possible, putting everything that they want, giving it a new look, and also coming up with a new branding idea for users to take advantage of. So for those who like to see a full feature list, I'm going to put this link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check out the full feature list of things that you can do. And by the way, within the UV editor, you can actually view your displacement map. But I think this is one of those cool features that you might want to also consider checking out take a look at this tell me what you guys think about it and for those who like to make purchase right now like i mentioned in previous videos marvelous designer is running on subscription it is no longer a one-time purchase thing which means that if you like to get this as an entrepreneur a personal license an academic license or maybe you just want to get a student license or a free trial you can come through and check these things out for yourself download them update yours and start playing with it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video 
or the next update. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.